so my very first girlfriend in Australia was from Norway. For real? Yeah. Studying or was she there? She was studying. Yeah, many Norwegians exactly. go there. Yeah, too. it was the greatest. Amazing. And uh, she was in a house full of Norwegians. They, they yeah, were all yeah. over there. Wow. They so go. I have a little love for Norway. Your first movie, uh, you, and you didn't go easy on yourself. You did everything that could have gone wrong, singing, dancing, everything. Why, why, why did you do this? <laughs> why did you do this to yourself? That's <laughs> yeah. a great question. Uh, you know, to me, actually, I mean, I come from a background in commercials of doing sort of big spectacle and musical type commercials. So, so even though a lot of people look at the, the, the scale and the sort of musical numbers as being daunting, and, and I, I think it, for everyone else it was terrifying that a first time director was taking on something of this <laughs> scale. But for me, like, that's, they're, the, the, they're the moments where I felt most confident um, and, and I was most at ease uh, at the circus. It sounds crazy, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it, it, it definitely, the, the, the writing an original musical, that, that part, um, mm. that, that took a lot of time and a lot of work. I mean, Benj and Justin, to their credit, uh, they wrote and rewrote and rewrote this music until we got it to a point where, you know, every song we, we, we challenged ourselves and, and we would say, if you can't hum it the next day, then it's, it's not good enough. Oh, I'm humming. I'm humming every day now. Uh, uh, this story of Barnum, you know, you can tell so many stories about him. There are good stories out there, there are bad stories. Why did you paint uh, this picture of him? You know, the interesting thing is, uh, you know, P.T. Barnum, he, he wrote his autobiography multiple times hmm. and, uh, and he would reinvent himself. And he actually would destroy the plates of the earlier uh, editions. And so, you know, I, I looked at the film and I was like, you know, let's take the sort of tentpole moments in his life um, and create a musical around that. Um, and, and, you know, is it historically accurate? You know, uh, a lot of it is. Uh, a lot of it's uh, the work of imagination. Uh, as is his own autobiography. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was kind of like if P.T. Barnum was going to make a film of his life, this would be the film he made. And he would get Hugh Jackman to play him. Because P.T. Barnum looks nothing like Hugh Jackman. But again, it was, it was that decision that we would use a healthy dose of uh, P.T. Barnum in the film itself. Huh. Did you always uh, vision Hugh Jackman in this role? Because it seems perfect for him. He is perfect. He actually brought the script to me, so oh, he did. I, I couldn't get rid of him. <laughs> okay. uh, but if, 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 I, if, if he was not involved, uh, he would be my first choice. Right. I mean, I have to say that, don't I?